Carro. Hello my Leos, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a reading for what Spirit wants you to know. It's your Christmas gift. What does Spirit have in line for you for a Christmas gift, my Leo friends? What does Spirit have in line for you as a Christmas gift? Infinite possibilities, perhaps? Transformation? Let's get a message. What does spirit have for my Leo friends as a Christmas gift? Wow. Dragonfly. Magic. I embrace my transformation. So things are transforming for you. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Dragonfly energy. That's magic all around you. It's like something is surrounding you this holiday season that's bringing a form of magic and wisdom and happiness, I would say. I wonder if there's been a real time of struggle that's going to go away soon. Very soon. It's all going to drop off as if like just instantly. Someone might not be feeling incredibly well. Something is going to happen as if by magic. Color. Pay attention to what colors you're drawn to. There's something about color right now that's important. So look at the color you're drawn to. Go ahead and look at the numerical number that is associated with that color. And it will give you a whole lot more information based on the color. And you can also do, look up angel colors. Angel meaning of colors. You are the universe. Look at that. You are the universe. Brand new beginning for you. And it's going to bring in stability. That's amazing. You're stepping through a portal of new energy, my friends. You're coming together with something that is your sole purpose. Yeah, you are. And it's beautiful. And I would say it's going to happen around the fourth month Aries season. Yes, Aries Taurus season. Okay, let's get some energy cards. Universe has my back. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's read that. I want to read that. Card number 40. Color. Here it is. Just a short description. Your perception of life is becoming more colorful. You are open to different colors and experiences. Color breaks up old black and white thinking and opens your heart to the beauty of life and love. The colors of the rainbow are variations of white light reflecting the diverse experiences of life and they are all valid. Each color of the spectrum has its own energetic vibration that stimulates certain responses and healing. Different colors mirror your current physical, emotional, and spiritual state. Your soul uses the mirror to communicate your need to heal or to embrace balance. Get to know what colors you are attracted to and the ones that repel you. You are love, and you are loved no matter how colorful yours or another's life is. Hmm. There's something about your heart chakra I'm getting from this card it's like the angels are guiding your heart and soul right now it's on a mission it's like your heart and soul is on a mission to bring more color and joy into your life but it's not by your effort is what I'm getting this is like a gift coming to you interesting You are the universe. This is a beautiful card and I rarely, it rarely ever gets pulled. Colors are gorgeous in it. Okay. Know the self and know the nature of everything. You are you. And yet, you are also the universe. Just like you. The universe is a living entity. 
It is not a thing or person that knows everything. It is growing, moving, and reaching forward to experience life in new ways. Wherever or whenever you are, you will always recognize yourself and you will always exist. Play with the idea that the universe is in all its manifestations, peers out through you. It mingles and joins with your energy to see the world through your uniqueness and expands as you do. You are the pioneer of this universal frontier and the universe needs you to know it in all its forms. If you believe everything is separate, you will want a guide, angel, light being, someone or something outside of you who sees you to show you the way. However, everything is as one and nothing is separate, so nothing is on the outside looking in. The universe sees wonderment through your eyes and you see wonderment in the universe. Become your own authority. Choose to feel good by discovering what makes you feel good, what makes you laugh love and enjoy focus on this and you will create similar manifestations and whatever you don't focus upon will fall away from lack of attention so it's really about how you manifest with your attention and the things that you think about even the things you feel i would say understanding that you are the universe you're creating your own universe but like you guys are masters at this at least i know some leos that are masters at creating their own universe perhaps you're not sure of the how Something is coming about that seems as if by magic, but the reality is, is that it's not. You have to understand and believe that you're worthy of feeling good, having more color in your life. When I am grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So see, you're in the journey along to what you desire. And in creating that, the creation process is going on behind. You have to believe you're worthy of what's coming. The more I attune my energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. You are the universe. So if you appreciate things more, you yourself will be appreciated. When I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. So where is your spiritual connection at? What does it feel like? The universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. Realigning with your own self and being the universe yourself, you do realign with love. And there's some sort of magic. There's some sort of transformation that's happening for you here. I embrace my transformation. I courageously, not just half-heartedly, but courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Nature grows, right? Nature brings energy, brings things into full fruition. You are the universe. You are nature. You are brilliant and you are blessed. So you can grow whatever it is you desire. Snake spirit. Time to heal from the past. It's been an absolute painful journey. Someone might, might be, uh, had an illness or something they're trying to heal from. It's like you've been bitten twice hard by sickness or by illness or something lately. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. Get into the energy of play. It's not easy to do when you've not been feeling well. Water spirit, you are never alone. Look at that. You have your friends, you have your family, you have your tribe. You are loved. You are never, ever alone. Those are things that the divine really wants you to pay attention to and remember. Perhaps you have been feeling alone in this existence that is your life. But you're not. You so are not. Let's get some tarot on this situation. Needing more color in your life. Believe you're worthy of feeling good. Time to heal from a hard time in your life or a illness or a sickness. Maybe you've been dealing with that in your family. Passionate new opportunity comes in. It's because you've, you're able to finally put down the burdens. And the divine brings you a new passionate opportunity because you finished one cycle and heading into another. It's going to happen quickly, whatever it is. Really quickly. Something that you know how to do already. Could be job, accomplishment, something. Going 
going inward and asking the divine what to do about it. Let's not stay in that hangman tree too, too long. There's some sort of healing around the head, perhaps a psyche or a, a, a thought process or a thought pattern. Healing that's needed, mental healing is what I'm getting. If you're being sick physically, chances are it's because there's a mental issue going on within um, a fractured understanding is what I like to put it as. Let's get tarot on this otter spirit. You are never alone. You are the universe. You have everything like you are you. End of a cycle. Start of a brand new one. Graduation day. Wow, you guys are leveling up on epic proportions, let me just say. If you feel like there's not much going on, and you've been just having colds or getting sick and whatever else, yeah, well, that's because you're stepping into Empress energy. When this cycle of pregnancy ends, someone around you could be pregnant, or you yourself could be pregnant. Perhaps you're trying to birth something and we're hoping to have it happen within the next six months. A feeling like you have to do it all by yourself. There's a graduation coming up to a, in a certain extent, could be graduating literally from a course of study. It's Empress energy, nonetheless, you can create whatever it is you desire. It's beautiful. And the Emperor, end of a cycle of going it alone. You are never alone. It seems that the divine is ending a cycle between an emperor and empress. Now, this could be a father and a mother situation. If, you know, that's happening for you or you're intuitively sensing that's going on. There's a transformation that's happening and it's coming at an ending of a belief set, a fractured understanding as to how relationships should be, perhaps. There's an end of a cycle of what about your what's going on in your belief set between men and women in general never mind uh, it could be a father and a mother situation perhaps there's energy you're dealing with still within you due to a breakup of a father and mother that happened even at younger years so i have the three of pentacles master builder energy i embrace my transformation i think you you really could be a teacher coming in here about certain topics yeah a wise sage, a very wise teacher. Magic. As if by magic it comes along. You could be dealing with a Virgo in some sort of aspect that is very wise sage energy. At the top of a mountain peak is something you're going to reach or you've reached is you're at the top of a mountain peak and it's time for you to share, build a business sharing yourself and what you know with others if you have the energy and the time to do so, but you feel like you're lying to yourself about it. That's what I'm getting. It's like, I can't do that. It's not in my thing of what I'd want to do. There's your Empress energy coming out loud and proud. It's also the other woman. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Perhaps you feel like something has been thwarted or, or there's some sort of intervening coming with a another Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it could be a financial base that helps you stand firm on something. It's like something you thought was completely coming to an end didn't end. It is transformed and in that transformation which could have something to do around money or a gift or something, magic is a gift coming from the divine. It helps you let go of the past. Perhaps your old narrative you would have said about a person, place, or thing. You are brilliant and you are blessed. The divine's giving you a massive gift. Yep, divine justice stepping in. Absolutely. It's beautiful. There could be a third party situation as well going on. This is the energy of Libra. Balance, justice, truth needs to be spoken and balance needs to come over a circumstance or situation and it's going to happen as if by magic. All right, let's get the most likely outcome by January 6th.
Light of fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence, think things through carefully. Nine of swords, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. I wonder if someone is expecting the worst out of a situation with a parent or something. King of Pentacles, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, you have the Midas touch. So whatever is coming to you by January 6th is absolutely meant to have happened. And you have the Midas touch. You could be going to a bank to get a loan or a consolidation loan or something, consolidating something. Queen of Pentacles, we have a match here now. And the Nine of Cups, your wish comes true. Concerns fade away, a love of life. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. There's something beautiful that's coming your way. If you think it's happened already, it's not. If something beautiful's happened already, awesome. But there's more. When is there not more with my Leo friends? I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful Christmas. I'll talk to you again soon.